So what brought you to me today? Oh uh, well, my doctor actually um, suggested that I come see a therapist because of this problem I'm having. Would you mind elaborating on that problem that you're having? Um, yeah, actually, um, a while ago I was actually diagnosed with clinical depression, so I'm struggling with that. So why did the doctor diagnose you with clinical depression? Um, yeah, um, I've actually been having um, a lot of symptoms of the of clinical depression, um, restlessness. Um, I don't really get a lot of sleep anymore, at least not lately. Um, just like overall, like bad negative thoughts, um, agitation. Now, what event led you to have start having these symptoms of clinical depression? Um, so yeah, a few months ago, um, I was actually um, in my car texting and driving when I shouldn't have been, um, and a guy was actually crossing the street. Um, of course, he had the right of way because he's a pedestrian. Uh, I was texting and driving, and I hit him, and um, he actually died at the hospital. Ah! Did you have any um, connections, or was this person that you hit a friend of yours? Um, no personal connections. Um, he was actually a stranger, so that, that's that's tough. That's gonna be. Um, I understand why you're feeling your ways you are, but we're gonna try to talk through this, and we're, we'll, we'll work this out. Great. Thanks for your help. I'm really looking forward to it. Now, have you ever been to a counselor or talked to a counselor before? Um. No, this is the first time my doctor actually suggested that I come to you. So. All right, well, we're just going to try to get your feelings out and let you talk to me and try to see if that'll help you feel better. Okay, thank you so much. It really means a lot. All right, we need to try to learn how to cope with this because this is a part of your life now, but it is not the end of your life. We can, you still have a future ahead of you. And this right here is holding you back. We need to learn and figure out how we can move forward. Do you feel like this um, incident was completely your fault? Um, yeah, I do. Um, he was actually texting, and, well, he was texting too, he wasn't driving, he was texting. Um, and I was too, but um, of course, like, he's a pedestrian, so he had to right away, so yeah, it was definitely all my fault. Do you feel like if this person was not on their phone while they were crossing the street, that this could have been avoided? Um, well, of course, if um, he wouldn't have been on his phone. He would have seen the car, so maybe he would have not crossed the street. Hopefully he wouldn't have crossed the street. But, um, yeah, I definitely still take full responsibility for it because he's alive and he is. And well, um, if you believe that if he was, wasn't was on his phone while he was walking across the road, that this could have been avoided, then I believe some of the blame could have been placed on him. So let that lift some of the blame off your shoulders. Okay, I never thought about like that. Thank you. I think that'll um, probably help a little bit. All right. Well, you cannot let this one event determine how you're going to live the rest of your life. Okay, I never really thought of it like that. So, thank you for opening my eyes. Do you have any more feelings that you would like to bring to the table, or anything else you would like to talk about? Um, no, that was it. I think I'm good. Thank you, though. All right. Well, I really appreciate you coming in. Hope we worked out some of these feelings and maybe it will help you with your depression. Here is my business card. Thank if you ever you, need to you. talk to me, I'm open all the time. I'll answer phone call, text. All right, thank and you. You're welcome.